I was gonna say good Sunday morning, only it's 12 o'clock on the nose. Oh, there's they are maybe. Um, I'm up here in the big closet that we store paperwork in and all that stuff. Anyway, I'm looking for the lights for the art room window. I think I just spy them. Because <sighs> we're putting up Christmas lights today. I know it's before Thanksgiving and we never, we never do that, but it's the apocalypse. <laughs> um, anyway, I spent the morning um, doing some typing and writing I needed to do for um, YouTube friends, patrons, YouTube supporters, admins, and all of that stuff. Um, checking on social media, all the things for the things because of the things. <laughs> um, so we're just doing chores around the house right now. Bob is outside cleaning the gutters because they're icky and full of pine needles and pine cones and God knows what. And we have another set of storms coming in, so he's gonna clean them out before that happens this afternoon. And we're gonna try to get the Christmas lights up before the storms hit, so we'll see. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna grab those lights that are in that box and at least get them into the art room um, so that I can get them up and in the windows and so I don't have to worry about that and we have them on timers so yeah um and then I'm gonna put socks and shoes on because he keeps asking me for tools and things I'm barefoot and it's cold out there all right that's it for the minute I'll okay, be okay so we're out getting a walk in we did get the Christmas lights up I will take uh, a picture or a video or something when we get back they should all be on by then we're trying to get some steps in before it rains because you see that up there yeah it's not your imagination. It's very cloudy, yeah. So we wanted to get the lights in up before it rained because we're supposed to have like a week's worth of rain, like I think through Thanksgiving. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So we got the light. We got it up and we got the gutters cleaned out, which was good. So we're gonna go get some steps in, see what we can see. We'll be All back. The lights are on when we get back. It looks like that. Pretty cool. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, we'll get the rest of the decorations up inside and out, but that's pretty nice the way it looks. Very good. Good morning, everybody. I want to say good Sunday morning, but it's not Sunday, it's Monday. <laughs> It just feels like maybe it's Sunday because Bob is not working today. He's off for a week. Um, not only because he has lots of vacation time and COVID hello happened and we haven't been able to go anywhere. Um, but because it's uh, Thanksgiving week in the United States. So um, his company usually takes a few days off. Um, he took the whole week off because, you know, hello again, he has the time. And it's used or lose it time, so. Anyway, we are going to head out yet again to the store because we should really be doing that so many times like we're doing right now. I don't know. Um, we just seem to be in able, incapable of right now getting everything we need at the moment in one fell swoop. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, probably in part because we keep losing the shopping list, to be honest. Um, we're going to head out here in a few minutes and try to get over to Costco, which is one of the big box discount stores here in the United States. Um, right when they open, hopefully we can get some toilet paper. We don't need it, need it, but um, we don't want to run out either. So we're going to go try to do that. Then we need a bunch of other stuff that we can just get from the regular grocery store. So um, there's one like a block away from Costco. So hopefully we can get all that done this morning. We did get some news yesterday that indeed my mother-in-law is definitely positive for COVID-19. So there's that. She seems to at the moment have a mild case, so cross your fingers and uh, send her some good energy. Um, she's a tough old bird, so I have all confidence that she can get through this. And yeah. Okay, we got 
some errands run. The trip to Costco was successful. We got toilet paper <laughs> and everything else that we needed. Um, we don't, I don't think we have to go back to the grocery store until um, like next week. I think we're good through Thanksgiving. So yay. <laughs> Um, I also got the vlog edited and loaded. I got all the posts for the week written and scheduled. Um, and I got 12 more cloth masks cut out. And so first thing tomorrow, I am going to be working on getting those sewn up and put in the drawer downstairs where we keep them because when folks come over or they call and we're talking to them and we find out they don't have any masks to stay protected and stay safe, we do send them some, um, just send a whole big box load to my mother-in-law and another friend in California who needed them. Um, and of course we have some, um, we have some ourselves. And every time I make a batch, there's one or two I end up cutting two of because I wanna keep them for myself. Yeah. And so this is one of the fabrics. Um, they're both skulls. So yeah, I like, don't you like that one? So anyway, it's very me in case you didn't know because I'm the middle-aged, you know, goth at all. But you can tell because I'm wearing pink, I know. Anyway, um, so we're gonna turn everything off up here. Well, as far as the light situation is, I don't know that I'm gonna turn the computer off yet, but I'm gonna turn everything else off. I'm gonna take um, the Etsy order downstairs and get it by the front door uh, ready for pickup tomorrow. And I need some more water, I drank it all, and I need to go check the mail. So, and my husband walked off with my labeler downstairs in his garage somewhere. I think he's labeling his cabinets, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I hope he has enough tape in the machine because I have no idea. All right, I'll be back. It is just before lunch to, on Tuesday, November 24th, I think. Yes, November 24th. Um, I am printing sticker flakes. Some, um, I've run out of, almost run out of these. So downstairs for myself, we have them in the Etsy shop. Um, so I need to um, print myself some more. But I also have three new sets. I have some uh, goofy faces. And then I have a winter set. This actually top one you see is a misprint. I don't know if you all are gonna be able to see that. So I'll be keeping that one. But anyway, we have a winter set um, that will be coming out soon. The faces also. And then I have a rainbow set. I'm printing myself some extra um, of a couple of different ones that I've used a lot of um, and or given away to patrons and that sort of thing. I stick one or two sticker flakes in their things every now and then. Um, anyway, I'm printing, 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 then I'll be cutting, cutting, cutting. <laughs>
So we're out for an evening walk, early afternoon walk, making a concerted effort not to lose my keys this time because we are over in that neighborhood again and I really don't want to lose my keys again. Well, if you do, you're going to lose your head at the same time because it's around your neck. Right? It is, what day is it? <laughs> Wednesday, November 25th, 1.20 p.m. I am listening to Mike Deacon's vlog for week four of November 2020 and um, making masks <laughs> again. I got the sticker flakes um, packaged this morning and they're listed on Etsy and I got a few other sort of paperworky type things done. Um, we, after many unanswered phone calls and a little bit of panic, we're able to check up on Bob's mom and she's doing okay. Um, she seems to have a mild case of COVID and for somebody who's 92 years old almost, um, she's doing very, very well um, and has very mild symptoms. So everything looks good for her recover, complete recovery. I did, however, just find out a couple minutes ago, literally, that my niece's husband's father just passed away. He had pneumonia. They thought it might be COVID, but it turns out it's not. It, his COVID test was negative, but he was still unable to recover. So he just literally passed away a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. It's the year of Mondays, you know? What are you going to do? Anyway, I'm going to keep making masks and I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to avoid the news, but I hear that our governor has a press conference today and we might be under lockdown until January or longer. Fun times. The year Mondays. I'll be back. Hey, okay, I got a, another batch of masks done and the Christmas letters came in to go out this year. So they're here. Um, you know, I never first saw 2020 being the year that I would dust off my sewing and dressmaking skills from way back when to make masks. <laughs> like, that's just not something I foresaw happening. And for those questioning that statement, um, back in the day, I was a seamstress and dressmaker. So there you go. I've done a lot of different jobs in my life. That was one of them. Was I very good at it? I don't think so, particularly because I dislike working with brides. They don't call them brides to live for nothing. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think I'm done up here for the minute. Just got done making the masks and listening to our governor and her press conference today. We are, we've gotten warnings about, you know, not doing big holiday gatherings because it helps spread COVID and our shutdown ends next week, but and some things, some restrictions will be lifted, but not everywhere and not everything. And basically most of Oregon's gonna end up staying in shutdown. She said, I never heard somebody say that without saying that and do it so well. Anyway, I think we're gonna go walking now. I'm gonna have a little bit of water and put some socks on. It looks a little cold outside again. And I need to do something else besides sit at the same machine making masks because that's just kind of depressing. All right, I'll be back. You can see that or we scared him away.
Oh yeah, there it is right there. Little, not little, big Bambi. We came home and they were looking at the bowls for something to eat, which I think the bowls are empty. So we probably need to fill them up again. It's that time of the year where they have nothing else to eat, so fun times. Good morning everybody, happy Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving morning, it's about 10.30ish. Um, as are most of the intelligent Americans, <laughs> we are having Thanksgiving, but a very small one, not the normal 20 people. <laughs> um, we are just having our immediate small bubble, which is basically the children, um, our daughter Rebecca and her husband Paulius, our sort of adopted daughter Jenny and her husband Brian, um, former daycare baby, people that we see on a regular basis um, all the time anyway, but nobody outside of that bubble. We're not even seeing my parents um, who don't live far away, but they're not in our immediate bubble and they're, you know, elderly. And I, they have, co my mom especially has lots of comorbidities, so none of us are taking a chance. So anyway, we're staying home. There will be a virtual Zoom thing um later today so we'll probably join in on some of that i put some makeup on i know right my hair still is resembling einstein's sister but that's what happens when you let it go gray and don't get a haircut because you're afraid to go to the beautician so anyway I'm <laughs> Friday people. It is about 1230 on Friday, November 27th, I think, the day after Thanksgiving here in the United States. And we're going out for a walk. I didn't walk yesterday. Over calories, ate too much. So we're going for a walk today. We're puppy sitting Lily again because the kids are out running a few errands like getting a Christmas tree and stuff like that. And they did stay around long enough to help us get our house decorated. So we got that done. Went really quick with extra hands. And um, yeah, other than that, we're just having a relaxing, chill, couch potato kind of day because ate too much yesterday. And some of us indulged in alcohol too much. I can't, yes. And the children, oh my God, anyway. All fun was had as much as we could with, you know, small household of people. So anyway, we hope you all had a good day and a good celebration if you celebrate. And yeah, on to the next, right? We're going to go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'm going to get ready for my December project this weekend and get some video filmed and get on with it. Yeah. All right. I'll be back.
people. Happy Saturday. Fred is stomping around, feeding the deer over there. Feeding the deer. Right there. Their bowls were empty again. We are getting ready to go out and pick up a few Christmas decorations um, that we would like to get for the house. And I didn't put out my Precious Moments Nativity scene. It's upstairs still in the box, but I'm rethinking that a little bit. So I have to figure out if I want to put it out and if I do where and that stuff. I've got some video to film this weekend, other video to edit, like, you know, it's a thing. But we're gonna go like run around, like a car ride. It's kind of the only thing we can do. So we'll take you with us and we'll be back. Got some more decorations up at the house. The giant snowflake looks so cute. I will put some pictures here. We are headed out to go get some takeout for dinner right now because neither one of us feel like eating turkey again. All right, I'll be back. And this is looking down my street, and I'd say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Holy moly. Alright guys, it is, oh, what time is it? 7.15 p.m. on Saturday, November 28th. Don't get excited, I'm looking at the iPad. Hello, I never know what day and time it is, especially in the year of Mondays, aka 2020. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're right, reading this in the future, look up some news reports for 2020, you'll get it real quick. Anyway, we had a very yummy dinner of Buster's Barbecue here in Oregon. If you haven't heard of Buster's Barbecue, they have a few locations. Google them, look them up. I uh, love their smoked brisket. They have a smoked brisket salad that is gigantic and delicious. And try their ranch dressing if you like ranch dressing, cause yummy. Anyway, uh, Mr. Fred over there, there he is. He is making cookies for dessert. Of course. of course, we've got the fire going. Got the fire going. Sit back well, there, there. yeah, we've got our snowflake, which you probably saw already. And we're just relaxing. It's been a okay week, and in the year of Mondays, okay is a pretty good week, because you know they haven't all been that way. Uh, no, <laughs> it's not a week. It's not a year of Saturdays. That's for sure. No, it's a year of Mondays. Anyway, so we hope that you've all had a good week or an okay week. And I think I have a couple fun projects coming up. So um, they will be shared on YouTube, but they only the, the detailed instruction will be over in Patreon. Um, and some of it will be over in my creative year on Facebook. So make sure you're a supporter in Patreon or uh, you are in my creative year to get more details. I will be sharing some with you here on YouTube, so never fear, but 
Um, I think it's a fun project going forward and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. Um, it's going to be a weird holiday season, but we can get through it together. I know we can. So anyway, that being said, support the free content here on YouTube and over in said Facebook groups if you can. Check out my video description for different kinds of links um, and ways to do that. Um, you can also check the Linktree list of links. That has store locations in it. It also has my Instagram and all that stuff so you can check it out. Um, and if you have a favorite creator or a favorite teacher or um, in person that gives you inspiration in Facebook, uh, and you can't figure out how to support their content um, and it's not in their video descriptions or maybe they don't do video, ask them because I bet they have a way, whether it's an Etsy shop or uh, Patreon or something else. So ask them because I know we're all struggling a bit and we they'd appreciate it. That being said, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we will see you next week. Right, Fred? Right, Fred. Right, Fred. Bye, guys. Thank you.